This is the ECG of an army cadet who was sent to me because of intermittent chest pains. This individual was very fit and was regarded by his officer as fitter than most of his peers. He underwent an ECG before echocardiography and I could predict just by looking at this ECG that we were going to find something very serious. There are several abnormalities on this ECG. The ECG shows left axis deviation. There are pathological Q waves in these 1, AVL, V5 and V6. If we go back to basics, pathological Q waves are defined as those that are greater than 25% in depth compared with the proceeding R wave. The patient also has T wave inversion in lead V2 and reduced R wave progression. These are all features of pathology rather than physiology. Indeed, the presence of T wave inversions and pathological Q waves for me was consistent with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and this was confirmed with echocardiography. The ECG in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy does not have any distinct patterns. Almost any ECG pattern is recognized in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. However, the most common ECG abnormalities include deep S waves in leads V2 and V3, ST segment depression, T wave inversions, pathological Q waves, and left bundle branch block. I also consider left axis deviation as abnormal, and this may be the only single abnormality on the ECG raising suspicion of an underlying cardiomyopathy.